Tupperberry art. Welcome to the land of Tuppertopia. Today we are going to draw a unicorn. So pause as you need to work at your own pace and let's create something magical. The first thing we're going to do is start with the head. So you can either draw a circle or a little bit of an egg shape. Next, let's add the ears. It's like two half circles on either side. Notice this unicorn has sharp little ears. So you can do what you want, but add those little lines inside to show the inside. Now let's do the horn. It looks like a cone turned upside down. Once you've done that, draw a few little diagonal lines across, and then just to soften this up, round out the edges. See, from line to line, just curve out your lines, erase the lines in the middle that you don't need, and we have a cute little unicorn horn. Remember to pause this video to work at your own pace. The eyes will come next, so you can draw two circles or, again, two ovals on either side of the head and then draw a little circle inside of that. That is what you're not going to color because that's the light reflection in your eye. So leave that and color the rest in. Add some eyelashes, a few little strokes on either side, and then we can move on to the nose. This is also called the muzzle. So draw a little line and then two simple little ovals will represent the nostrils. It's very simple. We'll just throw in a little bit of hair at the top, but we'll come back and add more later. So just right around the horn, gonna add what looks like kind of bangs coming out, but you know it's nice, bright, colorful rainbow when it gets colored in. Then once I have that, erase the lines you don't need. And let's get ready to move on to the body. So this first little curved line, we are going to draw from there, what's almost like two little rectangles, but these are the legs, as you can see. We'll add a little hoof on the end, which is like a little rectangle again. And then we've got two circles on each side because our unicorn is sitting down. So I'll add the second line behind my circle to represent the hoof before I connect this all to the body. Two little curved lines from the head to the sides of the legs will connect your unicorn. Draw on a little line for the tail that comes to a point so it goes thick to thin. Now let's come back to the hair. We're gonna add some longer strands on the side of the head. Looks like a teardrop. It's gonna come on top of the head. It's gonna come on top of the body. When it's all colored in, it's gonna be super colorful. You can see on the other side of the head, you can draw in another strand of hair. And some final touches, just throw in a few little lines on the hair, not too many, just to indicate which way the hair is flowing. And lastly, we're just going to give our unicorn a little bit of a ground, something to sit on before we begin our very colorful coloring. All right, let's color. Remember to use lots of colors blending on top of each other, which will give it a nice smooth finish. Thank you for drawing with me today. Remember, you can always send in requests you can upload any pictures you've drawn and share them with me. You can subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And we'll see you again for more magical drawings.